Well, Andrea Bishop is back from the Electric Quilt Company, and you actually made this quilt that's on the table. I know, shocker. You know, this, well, it's gorgeous. You do beautiful work. You Thank look you. Like you've been quilting for a long time. Actually, I am a beginner quilter, believe really? it or not. And the reason why I was able to do this quilt is foundation piecing. Foundation piecing, you sew on a black line and you have something to follow. You end up with really precise points. And if you can just, you know, cut the seam allowance on the dotted line, everything's mm -hmm. on a line and you end up with a really precise pattern. Well, there are a lot of pieces to this quilt, quilt, that's for certain. And so you actually use digital software to help plan this quilt. Right, there's all sorts of um, blocks that are possible. You can do you know, basic blocks or things that look like stained glass, mm -hmm. and you can do them as blocks, or in the case of this quilt in front of us, you can use the triangles back to back to back to back and to create the medallion. Look. Beautiful. Well, let's see how this looks on the computer. Well, this is the design that I worked with, and it just kept building and building from the basic kaleidoscope shapes that I was drawing. So if you want to draw a kaleidoscope... And this is a software that you can install on your computer to do this. Right, and you have the ability to control the lines. So let's say you wanted to make this spin. You just draw lines and play connect the dots and you end up with a completely different pattern. So are you making more pieces by doing this? Yes, and a lot of the pieces in the quilt in front of us have anywhere from 12 to 16 pieces of fabric per Per wedge. block? Per wedge, okay. Yeah, so. So back on the computer. So back on the computer, you can print out foundation patterns for this. And if you wanted to just do the triangle, then you group that and preview it. And you, you can make it small. In my case, I made it 15 inches. And so you which get part the bigger. So 15 inches? That actual piece itself? The, um, the block, if it were the eight pieces block. together. OK. And so then this is a wedge with one, two, three, four colors. Uh -huh. So if you wanted to make it even more complex, you could draw an X in the other direction. But then that, you would need to delete a line and print the foundation pattern. And you would get something that looks like a ribbon in that section. So let's take a look, because actually this printed out. And it, does this give you the direction for which piece to start with? Right, that's the part I love. You just put your fabric on the back and you start with piece A1 and you just keep going. And let's take a look because on the back of this quilt, if I can get this nice and flat, you can see this was actually, it provides like a cheat sheet for which piece to put on next. Right, so I just followed the triangle for this piece and ended up with the finished quilt. Well, that certainly made it a lot easier. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I wouldn't have attempted it otherwise. Andrea, thank you so much for coming and showing us this. I'm so excited to have been able to. And that's it for this season of Quilting Arts. I sure hope you enjoyed watching. And stay tuned to next season where we're going to have some fresh ideas to bring to your quilting.